hey everybody welcome to my channel today i'm gonna be showing y'all these cute ombre glitter nails and she got I, I believe it's tapered square she got the tapered square shape so i did go ahead and use my extra long nail tips for these to achieve that and I'm just going to go ahead and walk you guys through everything that I did to get this look. It was so cute. And we absolutely loved it so much. So here, as you can see, I'm just going ahead and gluing down her tips. Some of them um, actually didn't fit that well. So I had to go ahead and file down the sides for her and cut them. But yeah, these tips actually don't work on everyone. If like their nail bed is too big. So a tip that I have for that is to go ahead and just cut it because that does help. I oftentimes will like lay out my tips and then just have some ready for the next hand that really does help and so that can like speed you up a little bit as well now i'm still slow let's be real like i'm not the fastest but the thing is there are always ways to improve and once you see them you can then apply that to yourself so I am then going to go ahead and blend in her tip and also shape the nails. I'm not going to show everything, but I'm sure y'all can see how I shape here. I use my drill only for like the shape that she wanted. Like I can, if it's like a real, real tapered square, then I can just go ahead and file it. But hers went in a little bit. So I actually did go ahead and use the drill and that does help a lot too. And then like at the end, sometimes I'll go in and file it like with an actual hand file, but it just honestly does depend on what the person wants. Oh my gosh you guys i am so sorry i'm just really realizing how much my drill is in the way but um yeah that's why i'm just not going to show the whole thing but y'all can basically watch this and get the gist of it so yeah sorry about that and also make sure you constantly check the nails to make sure that they match up and have a similar shape to one another if y'all actually wanted me to like leave all of the clips in there, let me know. And I will make sure I do that in the future for y'all. So I'm just going ahead and matching up her fingers, making sure they are all similar. And I didn't get all of them down, but you wanna make sure that they're the same shape and also the same length, which is like really, really important. So yeah everyone, the colors that I'm using are Valentino's Perfect Nude, Good Girl, and Cashmere. 
these nails came out so freaking pretty y'all and i'm like yeah i'm loving ombre i don't know why i don't do ombre like on myself and what's so funny is i'm a whole nail tech and i always give myself baby nails my nails are always like the little short squares if i ever do them and it's just like honestly for comfortability oh my gosh did i say that word right <laughs> Uh, whatever it's just for comfort because long nails are just such a hassle for me now I don't have like the hugest workspace or anything so every time I do long nails I just always like knock over stuff and it's just a hot mess and if y'all are curious I am dehydrating and priming with Valentino um dehydrator and as well as Valentino's primer so I always prime twice, just so y'all know. I dehydrate both hands first, and then I always go into whichever hand I'm working on and prime twice. The hand that I'm not working on, I just leave it be because I don't like when they come back and it's lint and stuff all over from them. You know, just touching stuff, doing what people do all the time. Here I'm just going on and laying down my Valentino Perfect Nude. And as y'all can see, my application is definitely less than perfect. <laughs> and I realized here what happened was I actually, for some reason, decided to not use AC on this day. So it was like super hot and drying up super fast and you'll see in the video well maybe you won't see i'll probably edit it out but i got up and fixed the ac so then my application became way better but you guys definitely make sure like if you're doing nails just make sure you are using ac it's very important because if you don't have like the right temperature it will not lay correct it will just dry so fast and just be a hot mess and i know i didn't say it but i'm capping in valentino's clear just so y'all can know and if you guys really really want to know like my whole goal in this look my main goal was to definitely create like um an ombre look and so what I'm trying to do is go on and just start like maybe in the middle of the nail and then just go on and take my brush and blend it down and then pick up a second bead and make it more opaque towards like the top of her nail. So yeah, that's my main goal. It's supposed to be an ombre, a nice gradient and also you want to take your glitter and blend it upwards. I did use some decals or some jewels, not even decals, what am I talking about? Some jewels for this look. Some little hearts, they were so cute, as you guys can see. I did place that down on two of her nails and it was just a look. Okay. We literally spent forever trying to figure out which one did we want to use. <laughs> it was between this heart one and also like a cute gold bow. So yeah, I decided the best way to lay these down is to put like a small little bit of acrylic up under it and then go ahead and just put it down. That's because otherwise it was just slipping and sliding. And so it was just literally getting nowhere. So definitely best thing to do, put down a little bead of acrylic and then place it down. You should be good to go. I couldn't decide if I did it right or not. You'll see me doing like different methods. But yeah, that's just how I decided to do it. And I worked on it to see which one was more fit and it worked. And it's still so, so, so cute. So in this video, I'm using my Panna number 12 brush. And y'all, I don't really like Panna brushes like that. I'm sorry. I hate to be the one to say it. Like, they're 
fine. They're fine, like in some situations. Like for this set, it was totally cool. But I feel like, I don't know, it's just something about it. Like sometimes the acrylic sticks and it's just a hot, hot mess sometimes. So I do have some products coming in. I'll probably do a video on that. And yeah, I hope you guys would like to see that. I probably won't tell you what it is, but just know it's a brush from a nail company and a few acrylics. So. A tip that I can give when it comes to trying to do a look like this, I feel like when you're laying down your color, and as you guys can see, like looking at the first nail, looking at these nails, they're totally different. And the reason why they're totally different is because I've realized working thinner is better. Like you don't want all of this thick acrylic color and then you have to go in and clear cap it. It doesn't make any sense. You're gonna have the bulkiest nails of life and it's hideous. So you don't want that. <laughs> So yeah, I'm constantly checking the nails to make sure, once again, that they look the same. <laughs> you don't want different looking nails. Nope, nope, nope. And if that does end up happening to you, you want to catch it early so that you can fix it. Because I would hate for you to get through a whole set and then someone's like, oh no, this one doesn't look right. I'm like, oh my gosh, this could have been done earlier. <laughs> So, yeah, just going in and clear capping this look. I know that it's like, wow, you keep seeing my hair and stuff in the video. That's because I'm leaning over a lot. Like me and this client was having a blast. We was just looking at stuff constantly. She was showing me everything on her cell phone. <laughs> and so... Yeah, with that being said, you definitely see my hair a lot, and I'm sorry for that as well, but yeah. <laughs> Another thing that I would like to add is because I'm new to like nail videos and stuff, if you guys have any suggestions for me, please leave them down below. I'm always open and welcome to welcoming them because there's always room to improve. I've never really been like a nail type of person like when it comes to YouTube, so I'm a newbie in the game. And if I'm not doing something right, I would appreciate it if y'all let me know so I can, you know, work on it and get better. Or if there's something that I don't show that y'all want to see, if I don't really like explain things correctly, y'all could also let me know about that. And yeah, I don't really take criticism in a bad way or anything. Just let it be healthy criticism, please and thank you. <laughs> I was just showing y'all the nails there, and this glitter is life. She actually chose the glitter, something that I would have never chosen, to be honest. Literally never. But that's why you have clients, because sometimes clients, they like different stuff, and so it kind of forces you to try different things. And so now we're moving on to the thumb. That's what we're on now. As you can see, I just turned around my paper towel. The reason why I did that was because if you look to like the top of the screen, you can almost see exactly like all the buildup and stuff of the acrylic. And that can also be something that messes up your set as well. 
and like can cause acrylic to be stuck in the brush so you want to constantly make sure you're like changing your paper towel turning it around using like a fresh side of it pretty much and yeah the thumb angle here is really really helpful for you to see exactly what i'm doing and really get up in there As you guys can see, I really do not miss any angles. I literally wipe down the side of the nails a million and one times. I check the apex a million and one times. I wipe off the tip a million and one times. <laughs> That's just what you gotta do to achieve perfection. So, yeah. That is just so freaking kelt. This is what it looked like after we finished laying down the acrylic. Now it's time to file. I'm gonna probably just show one hand only because showing both hands, I think it's just dragging it. But I'm sure y'all wanna see how I file and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that in. I'm just going around her cuticle first and like any excess that I feel needs to be filed off I go on and do that I straighten up her sides and call it a day oh yeah and I also like give her like a little c curve because bomb who doesn't love c curves <laughs> but I'm using a fine carbide bit I believe I got it from Amazon so yeah and I really do love this one, this bit. I thought I would be cutting up everybody with it. So honestly, when I first got it, I was so scared. But it doesn't really do anything. I gotta be honest. Like, it, it really does do a great job at fouling without cutting. Like, be careful, obviously. Because if it touches skin, trust me, it will cut. But if you're doing your part and, like, doing everything correct the way you should, it's not just gonna zoom zoom and like just go cut someone for no reason so i really do love this bit and i definitely recommend it to be honest i love it so much and honestly since i switched to this bit i don't even find myself having to like buff the nails or do anything else extra which is not normal because i normally always have extra crap to do but i really don't with this bit it's nice
so here I'm just going in and buffing the nail. The nail buffer that I use is an 8080 grit. I got it from my local nail supply. It came with like a million of these little buffers. And I really do love that pack. So I buff it. And then once I buff it, I then go ahead and file the top of them and then just make sure that it's super, super straight. And if you want to see it like from the client's angle, that's why you flip around their nail just to make sure everything will look right when they look at it. And I really do love doing that. It works super well. There are also some people who don't like this method. So, so you just really gotta try it and see if it works for you. Because some people be like, well, it's crooked. It comes out crooked when I do that. Just keep practicing. Make sure you're holding your file super, super straight. This is what it looked like after we buffed and stuff. So we're gonna move on to the next step. I've had her wash her hands and all of that and then when she washed her hands it was time to top coat i'm using my madam glam top coat for this look i really do like the madam glam one y'all if y'all like are looking for a good top coat it's really nice it is super shiny and one of my favorite things about it is the fact that it's thin like a lot of the top coats that I use are super super thick for some reason don't know why but honestly um Madame Glam's top coat is not thick at all it's nice and thin and also when you do like glitter ombre or like anything see-through you want to make sure you get underneath the nail with the top coat and that's just because it makes it way more clear and yeah it's just super cute when you do it like that so make sure you do that as well when you're doing a clear ombre look or anything similar to this so for this top coating process i only included one hand and the only reason i did that is because it's the top coat it's pretty self-explanatory didn't feel like I needed more so after we did the top coat I then just went on and put on her cuticle oil and we was done with this look these are what the nails look like I really do love ombre we did a few little different shots some dark some light but yes, if you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.